Welcome back to the Clash Tips YouTube channel. If you haven't seen this attack already, it is absolutely amazing. I'm really sad because I can't do it yet. My barracks is still upgrading. I'm one of those that's too cheap to actually buy the packs to upgrade everything from the get-go. So anyway, I don't have the root riders in order to make this attack work. And I'm very sad because in Legends, I'm being hit with it left and right. And I'm being tripled left, left and right because this attack is that OP. It's not quite as OP as, say, the Lavalunian was with the Mashup Madness troops. But it's definitely there. You have to do it the right way to make sure that you don't one star. It's also very similar to like the Ocho Cueco attack with Yetis where you used eight quakes and if you didn't hit it the right way, then you had a danger of one starring. But I'm going to show you a few examples and then once my barracks gets done, then I'm going to actually start upgrading my root riders and hopefully be able to use this attack or a similar attack. I actually have another attack that we do in our clan that's very similar to this that will almost work just as well. And we actually just did a war and we had a perfect war because of this attack. So I've said all of this basically to say, look, this attack is amazing. If you're not using it, you have to use it before this event is over. But let's go ahead and show you the first attack, which is on my base. And you're going to be using eight root riders. You're going to have two ice golems. This attack actually brings 13 cookie pekkas. And the cookie pekkas, I originally thought, oh, we're going to use the cookie pe pekkas to kind of go right down the center behind the root riders. But the cookie pekkas are really fast. They work a lot like the Valkyrie does. They spin like the Valkyrie does. They have the same effect. And so if you put the Cookie Pekkas in too early, they're going to run out ahead of your Root Riders and they're just going to die because they don't have a lot of health. So you want to save your Root Riders, not your Root Riders, your Cookie Pekkas to kind of pick off the buildings around the outside. So in that instance, it's kind of like the Super Barch attack where you're saving the Rage Barbarians to attack the buildings that are around so you can see how they're being brought in out here around the outside so while the defenses are being distracted then the cookie pekkas are in there taking down the defenses and take down taking down the outside buildings while the root riders are attracting the fire of the defenses because the cookie pekkas are so wimpy <laughs> they're wimpy they're wimpy in that they pack a punch, in that they knock down buildings in one hit, but also they almost die in one hit as well. But this attack, it, it completely blows everything over. It's going to be the only attack that we see in Legends for the next two weeks, or there, however long there is left in the event whenever you're watching this video. But if you're not using this attack, then you definitely need to be using it now. Next attack, very similar. Again, we're going to be bringing eight root riders. The only difference in this is that we're bringing 11 cookie pekkas. We're going to be bringing those two ice golems, the ice golems to get out ahead so that way your root riders are not the initial target of the defenses. Things that you need to watch out for. Of course, you need to watch out for this big guy. You need to make sure that he's not completely destroying. Also, something else that I failed to mention in the first attack is you're going to be using the Frostmite spell. You can use the Freeze, and the Freeze actually lasts a little bit longer. But one of the reasons why this attack is so successful is because it freezes for 3.5 seconds or whatever it is, which again is shorter than the regular Freeze spell is. But the Frostmites come out afterwards and they distract the defenses which gives your root riders and your cookie pekkas just an extra second in order to get the defenses down and as you notice bringing in the cookie pekkas and then bringing in the rc in order to help take care of the defenses that are left up and this is where this attack right now could actually be a one-star if you're not careful. So work with it a little bit. Do some FCs in your clan to make sure that you can get this attack down because if you're not careful, if these couple of Root Riders had not stayed alive, then his queen might not have gone in to kill the town hall. So think about that whenever you're doing your attack because there's definitely a danger of one-starring but that's the basic of the attack. Let's go ahead and show you one more attack. The way you can, can kind of get a good idea of it. But this attack, completely OP. 
overtaking the meta. It will definitely be in the meta for the next few weeks. Let's get into the next attack and the final one of this video. Again, we're going to be using those eight root riders, two ice golems, 11 cookie pekkas. I love how he's also bringing the warden's apprentice. I have not used the Warden's Apprentice a lot in my attack, something that I definitely need to be looking at. We're bringing in those Cookie Pekkas on the sides in order to help clear out the side buildings. So that way, whenever you do your hero rush up the center, behind your Root Riders, those heroes will stay in the center. At least, hopefully, they'll stay in the center. Unfortunately, the King did not on this case. But And then the Root Riders are going to take care of the defenses in the middle. Going to put down a Rage in order to get those Root Riders through one of the tougher parts of the bases. And again, here's an example of a Town Hall that's on the opposite side of the base to where this attack could very easily be a 1-star. So make sure that you get some practice with it. We are going to use the Frost Mites on the defenses that are going to be doing the most damage. So things like Scatter Shots, Scatter Shots on this side. Uh, if you have the monolith in the very beginning, make sure you freeze that because you don't want the monolith to be taking down your root riders in the beginning. We're bringing in the cookie pekkas on the side in order to clear out the trash buildings and also to spot target some of those heavier defenses. And then hopefully you make it to the town hall. If you can make it to the town hall or at least get close or at least get one cookie pekka on that town hall, that cookie pekka will completely destroy the town hall. The root riders will slowly die out. Work with this attack a little bit. It's definitely going to be something that I use in five days whenever my barracks is finally finished. Yes, I know I'm El Cheapo, but it is what it is. Hopefully this video is helpful. This is an exciting attack. It's a new way to play Clash of Clans. I know I'm excited to be able to use it, and now use, this is something that you can use as well. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next video.